It's 10 o'clock in the morning on Thursday, June 20th, 2024. And I saw the lambs that are about three weeks old just laying with their mama here taking a break in the shade. <laughs> it's about 80 degrees, 80% 80 humidity. Uh, it's nice and warm. And I uh, thought I'd show you what the sheep do here to these trees. <laughs> they use these branches to uh, rub the the shedding hair off their backsides. And I came here in my bowl. <laughs> he was all tangled up in these branches rubbing himself. And he looked at me like, what are you doing here? <laughs> you know. So... Just a couple more weeks, Mr. Bull, and then you get to see all my cows. You get to say hello to them and say, how do you do? <laughs> He's looking really good. He's doing really well on this grass, I think. Um, this other guy's got long legs, but not much else going for him, and he's a year older. So he's just here to keep him company. You know. What are you complaining about? Oh, you want to go say hi to the women? <laughs> you want to go hang out with the girls? Oh, there's a turtle here. Look at that turtle. <laughs> it's a big guy. We find turtles all over the place around here. And, um,. Ooh, look at that dragonfly. Where did he go? So yeah, you can see here the sheep are just relaxing, you know. They've already had the morning meal, they're just letting it digest. And I'm gonna plan on moving them this afternoon. And I'm trying to figure out the logistics of the wires because I wanna make sure Rami doesn't get with the sheep. Uh, first so you have to figure it all out at some point I have to bring the sheep back to the pen to get the uh, the lambs um, banded um, to go back and check the records but I think they're about three months old if not yeah they're about three months old I think they're born in February or March or something like that so I don't want them breeding with the sheep. I want my St. Croix to do that. And uh, I was expecting to have 50 more sheep by now, but I'm not complaining. Hopefully they'll be here soon. I'll have to call that guy to see how they're doing. But uh, anyway, that's where we're at with the sheep. Um, as I said with the cows, that um, you never know if you're in a drought until it's too late. And it hasn't rained for two weeks and it looks like we won't get any rain until Thursday so it'll be three weeks three and a half weeks before we get rain if it comes on Thursday which it might not <clears throat> so I have to basically go into drought mode and um, so I looked at all my grass and it looks like we have plenty of grass um, the cows will take until September to get to the end of my pasture and the sheep are barely putting a dent in the grass um, so I'm, I'm not going to get rid of any sheep as part of the drought protocol but if I ever feel like I'm not going to have enough feed or grass for the animals uh, then I would sell the calves almost immediately um, they're old enough they can be sold so I'd probably sell the calves and the undesirable cows and uh, thin the herd down to about uh, 15 animals and then uh, keep all the sheep and then uh, do that now rather than in October, which is when I was planning on doing it. So that is the plan. If the drought, um, if I start running out of food and forage, the other part of the plan is to make sure to not overgraze, leave plenty of grass behind. Um, I need the plants to have deep roots so they can access the water that's under the surface. And uh, the way you do that is you don't graze too much on the top. So. Yep, everything's looking really nice. Um, I'm going to talk to my neighbor, make sure he doesn't mow the back 20. Because he might be thinking about hopping on his mower here soon. This is the 
nature preserve that he doesn't graze. He like mows it maybe once or twice a year, just mows it and leaves it in the field. Um, but you can see it, it's really growing. It's probably four feet tall at the tallest, three feet on average. Um, and the back 20 isn't, isn't quite as good, but it's pretty close. So, and once we get to the line where we stop grazing with the cows, um, it's looking really nice back there. So I'm thinking we're gonna have a good, fantastic grazing season this year. Um, by the time September rolls around, uh, the grass in the beginning should be plenty, plenty thick. And then uh, September, I don't think I'll have to roll out any hay. Um, assuming the grass survives the heat, which it should. And so September, and then maybe we can last again until uh, December. And then we might start doing hay in November or December. So, but if I turn them out onto the back 20, maybe I'll get a couple more weeks. So that's where I'm at, guys. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.